Today I'm going to show you how I tinted some glass. I've seen lots of people tint glass from the inside, but I had these candlesticks from the dollar store and you couldn't get right all up inside of them. And I still wanted to give them kind of that amber, kind of orange look for fall decor. So I'm going to show you how I did that. Really simple, really easy DIY to create some fabulous fall decor. So let's get started. Today I'm going to show you how I tint some of my glass pieces. I want to make these into some fall decor and I, you can tint glass and I've seen it done where you do the inside of jars um, and you'll swirl the glue and the dye on the inside and it creates really beautiful tinted glass but with these candle holders you can't get into the middle these are from the dollar store um, and I wanted to make them a nice amber color so I'm going to show you today how I do it it's really simple and really easy and this is what you're going to need to do the project um, I always like to put some gloves on because we're going to be working with some food coloring and it will really stain your hands a couple little dishes to mix up the um, this and some Elmer's school glue and you're just going to need a paintbrush to um, paint it onto your surfaces. So we're going to get started. This is just a, a package of food coloring that I bought on Amazon and it has all the different colors into it and it was really affordable. So that's what I've picked up um, and it just comes in the little containers and you can mix up get your color chart out and you can mix up any color that you want with what they have here. So um, that's what I'm going to use and I'm going to use the washable school glue from Elmer's. Um, you could also, if you have the clear, that might work better actually because we want this to dry clear, but this one does too and um, it works perfect. This one came with a brown already so I don't have to mix it and I'm just going to do um, the school glue into the little dish. You just want to mix enough that you're going to use for your project probably about a tablespoon and then I have a little skewer and I'm just going to scoop out some of this food coloring and add it to that glue until I get the color that I want and as you can see it's already mixing up into a really great color that amber amber color so just mix it up really well and then we're going to add it onto our project. I got it all mixed up and now we're just ready to paint it onto this glass candlestick. Now I've made sure I've wiped this down really well and then I took an alcohol pad and made sure there's no grease or grime on it so this will um, stick to it really well and I'm just going to paint it on. Now this has completely dried and I really love the color of it, but I think I want it a little bit darker. So I'm gonna put another coat on it. And with this second coat, I am going to use a sponge. And I think it might get rid of some of those um, brush lines from the brush and I can put it on a little bit thicker too and it'll stay in, in place. So just doing the second coat with the sponge. Now I have the second coat completely finished and using that sponge on the second coat covered it a lot better because I could get into all those little nooks and grooves and um, get it all covered really well. So now we're just going to set it aside and let it dry. Now I'm just starting this second one to match this one and I've run out so I'm just going to make a little bit more just to finish up this project. So again you're just using your school glue and then adding a little bit of the brown food coloring. And then I didn't mix up quite enough in the first batch so I should be able to get the same color again pretty close to what I had so it'll all match really well uh, and then I'm ready to sponge on some more now I found the first coat that I did with the the brush I had a lot of brush streaks so I'm finding that I'm really liking the sponge to use it it gives a really kind of textured uh, look to it that I, I really like so Probably when I do my next project, I would just eliminate using the brush completely and just start you with a sponge right from the start. So I'm just going to sponge on the second coat 
onto this one and then let them all dry up. I've got them all done and they're dry and I love them. And they look like they're old and vintage and by sponging it on, it gave it kind of a little bit of a textured look and I'm ready to seal them up. And now I'm ready to start the second project. I'm gonna use this mayonnaise jar. I love the shape of it. It has a really nice curve to it and another one of the dollar store candle holders. And I'm gonna do this one in a orange, which I think will look really pretty and put it all together. So let's get started. I'm gonna pour in the school glue, enough to do the whole project. Kind of just eyeball it. There's not really any real measurements for this. You kind of just add until you like the color and pour enough glue in to do your whole project. So I'm just gonna stir in the orange food coloring and it turns into a really nice vibrant orange. I think I wanna add a little bit more And it looks great and we're ready to put it on our project and i'm going to start off with this one um, using the sponge right from the very beginning because i like the look of that now i'm using the gel food coloring i'll put a link down below in the description for what i bought because it does work perfect but you can also use the liquid that comes in the little droppers and it works fine too i like this one because it's already pre-mixed into a bunch of colors where if you're buying the drops that is like the four pack then you have to mix your colors together to get the desired color that you want so i'm just going to start sponging on the candlestick first First coat's all done and I love it. And all ready to put a second coat on and the candlestick. These are all dry and I'm ready to seal with some polyacrylic sealer and Look at the texture and the color on these. It's, I just love it, it's fantastic. And the nice thing about this is you could soak this in hot soapy water after the season's done for the fall and redo them over for Christmas because this is just glue and food coloring and even putting the polyacrylic on top, it will still soak right off. Now I want to glue these two pieces together like this. So I'm going to use my E6000. It sticks just about everything and I'm just going to put it on the lip of this candlestick and then center that jar on top of it. And then I'm going to let it sit until tomorrow and then I'll uh, show you how it turned out. I took the lid outside and spray painted it with some black spray paint. I found this little top off of a spindle and I think I'm going to use it to put on the top of that mason jar lid and I'm going to paint it with some green acrylic paint to make it look like a pumpkin stem. I got the spindle all finished and I made it nice and rustic and chippy and I'm going to use some E6000 to glue it on top of the lid. I wanted to make some custom candles to go into these. I've done my homemade graphics on napkins. It's really easy. I have a tutorial. I'll put a link down below in the description if you ever want to make your own custom napkins to, to um, make for your candles. And I'm just going to put it on the candle just like this and it'll look really nice displayed in it. So I'm going to work away at that. This is such an easy DIY to tint glass with your Elmer school glue and a little bit of food coloring dye. You can also substitute the school glue for Mod Podge and that also works really well too. But I love the way these turned out. I love the orange textured on this upcycled glass mayonnaise jar and the dollar store candlesticks. 
perfect addition to my Halloween and fall decor. Let me know down in the comments if you've ever used this technique to tint glass before. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Have a great day.